Throughout the Second World War, Adolf Hitler was seen as a symbol of evil, as he ordered his armies to rampage across many different lands in Europe. He was a man who ultimately commanded the army and assumed control of the war effort, but inside of his Führerbunker, as the Battle of Berlin was erupting around the city, Hitler decided the war was lost. But before the conflict broke out, there are many different methods he used to try and secure his power and to limit resistance across Germany. He even tried to appeal to women as a single powerful man, but in secret Hitler had a relationship with his half-niece which resulted in the tragic and horrific death of the 23-year-old Gailey Raubel, who had the world at her feet before she became involved with Hitler. She was found with a bullet in her chest, and next to her was Hitler's gun. There has been much speculation about whether she was killed, or whether it was even Hitler who fired the deadly shot, but what is for certain is that she lived a tough and tragic life, controlled by the dictator of Nazi Germany. Join us today as we look at the horrific torture of Hitler's niece, and remember as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Gailey Raubel was the daughter of Leo Raubel and Angela Raubel, and her mother was Hitler's half-sister. Angela Raubel was a widow who was asked by Hitler to become his housekeeper, and when she accepted, she brought with her her young daughter to live with her and Adolf Hitler. But at the time, Hitler was a 39-year-old man, and Gailey Raubel was just a young 20-year-old girl, and soon after, the future dictator fell in love with his half-niece, and they became constant companions. The two would go on walks together, and would visit restaurants and conferences, but then in 1929, Hitler bought an apartment in Munich's Prince Regenstrasse, and he moved the Raubels in with him, keen to continue his relationship with Gailey. He would later state about her, I can sit next to young women who leave me completely cold. I feel nothing, or they actually irritate me. But a girl, like Gailey Raubel, with them I become more cheerful and bright, and if I have listened for an hour to their perhaps silly chatter, or I have only to sit next to them, then I am free of all weariness and listlessness. I can go back to work refreshed. Hitler became obsessed with Gailey, and it was said that the affection Hitler felt for this pretty superficial niece soon developed into a passionate relationship, hopelessly burdened by his intolerance, his romantic ideal of womanhood. Gailey Raubel's physical appearance, it said, was rather childlike, as the son of Hitler's brother would state, Gailey looks more like a child than a girl. You couldn't exactly call her pretty but she had a great natural charm. She usually went without a hat and wore very plain clothes, pleated skirts and white blouses. No jewellery except a gold swastika given to her by Uncle Adolf, whom she called Uncle Alf. At this time, Hitler wanted to push his Nazi politics and become more powerful and influential, but he became deeply in love with his niece and rumours then spread about the illicit affair the pair were having. But Hitler would exhibit very controlling behaviour, he would state, I'm so concerned about Gailey's future that I feel I have to watch over her. I love Gailey and could marry her good, but you know what my viewpoint is, I want to remain single. So I retain the right to exert an influence on her circle of friends until such a time as she finds the right man. What Gailey sees as compulsion is simply prudence. I want to stop her from falling into the hands of someone unsuitable. Hitler became very possessive, and despite taking her to a number of meetings, he would control who she saw and who she mixed with. Other Nazis would note at meetings the pair would talk at length, and Hitler would dominate the conversation. But when Hitler had enough, Raubel was forced to come away. They lived together for two years, and their relationship was incredibly tumultuous. The pair would often accuse each other of sleeping with other people, and Gailey Raubel became concerned about Ava Brown, a 17-year-old girl who often went for rides in Hitler's Mercedes. Many believe Gailey was a girl who was being used by Hitler and was a woman who went some way to cure his impotence. Hitler's housekeeper would state, Gailey actually did love Hitler. She was always running after him. Naturally, she wanted to become Frau Hitler. He was highly eligible, but she flirted with everybody. She was not a serious girl. Hitler seemed happy to show her off, and he believed she was incredibly attractive, but the pair would naturally grow apart, and would formulate different ideas in their relationships. Gailey would meet with other men when Hitler was away for a number of days, and it's clear she wanted to be free of her controlling lover's clutches. But she then had a relationship with Emil Maurice, the chauffeur and bodyguard of Hitler, 
and he would later state that her big eyes were a poem, and she had magnificent hair. People in the street would turn around to look at her, though people don't do that in Munich. Maurice was head over heels in love with her, and he even asked her to marry him, and she did accept allegedly. But Hitler, when he found out about this, was furious. Gailey had been turned away from Hitler because they had different ideas. She was just a young girl, who wanted freedom, but was being strangled by Hitler. His behaviour was incredibly controlling, and she lived under a constant lot of pressure. She was unhappy, and she could not say how she felt, and she was virtually imprisoned inside of their apartment. She wasn't even allowed to speak to anyone without obtaining Hitler's permission, and Gailey's face was constant in fear, and she was a very scared young woman. Hitler also allegedly had violent tendencies, and Gailey disliked this side of him. One witness would later state, discussing politics as they walked through the streets after a meal, Hitler emphasised some threat against his opponents by cracking the heavy dog whip he still affected. I happened to catch a glimpse of Gailey's face as he did it, and there was on it such a look of fear and contempt that I almost caught my breath. Whips as well I fought and felt very sorry for the girl. She had displayed no sign of affection for him in the restaurant and seemed bored, looking over her shoulder at the other tables, and I could not help feeling that her share in the relationship was under compulsion. When Hitler found out about Gailey and Maurice's affair, Maurice believed Hitler would execute him. But she would have another affair and would fall in love with another man who wanted to marry her. He would write, But your uncle's behaviour towards you can only be interpreted as egotistical. He simply wants you to belong to him one day and never to anyone else. Your uncle still sees you as the inexperienced child and refuses to acknowledge that in the meantime you've grown up and want to take responsibility for your own happiness. Your uncle is a force of nature. In his party they all bow down to him like slaves. It was clear that Hitler controlled every part of her life, and Gailey wanted to leave him to go and live in Vienna. Hitler refused to support this, and it was rumoured she wanted to go and live with the music teacher she fell in love with, who was Jewish. It's believed she may have been seen by the Nazis as dangerous, as she had slept with Hitler and the Nazis believed that Gailey Raubel could leave and then tell the newspapers and press all about his perverse desires, and it's believed that Hitler may have been forced to solve the problem with Gailey once and for all. She had knowledge of the intricate lives of many high-profile Nazis, and with this she was seen as a danger by many. But on the morning of Saturday the 19th of September 1931, Gailey Raubel's body was found on the floor of her room inside of their flat. The housekeeper's husband entered the room, and he said that, as the thing seemed to me rather suspicious, at ten o'clock I forced the double door open with a screwdriver. As I opened the door I stepped into the room, and found Raubel lying on the floor as a corpse. She had shot herself. I can't give any reason why she should have shot herself. Hitler had left the previous morning to Hamburg, and it's believed that the pair had a huge blazing argument before he left. It's assumed that this was about Gailey wanting to leave him, but she was forbidden to do so but following her death many high-ranking Nazis were summoned together to sort out the mess about her death. A conference took place as to what to do, and it's believed they would speak out about her death and how this could have been interpreted, and many for example believe that Hitler had shot her. A newspaper the following day reported that a 23-year-old student fired a pistol aimed at her heart in the room of her flat. The unfortunate young woman was the daughter of Hitler's half-sister, and she and her uncle lived on the same floor of the flats. On Friday afternoon, the owners of the flat heard a cry. She was found lying face down on the floor dead. Near to the sofa was a small calibre Volfer pistol. A newspaper would also report that, on Friday, there was once again a violent quarrel between Herr Hitler and his niece. What was the reason? The vivacious 23-year-old music student Gailey wanted to go to Vienna. She wanted to become engaged. Hitler was strongly opposed to this. The two of them had recurrent disagreements about this. After a violent scene, Hitler left his flat on the second floor of 16th Prince Regent Platz. The dead woman's nose was broken, and there were other serious injuries on the body. There were differing reports that her nose had been broken, and the police report said that she had been bleeding from a wound near her heart. She was found lying face down, with her nose against the floor, and one arm was stretched out towards the pistol, Hitler's Volta pistol. The bullet had missed her heart but pierced her lung, and Hitler's political enemies believed he had her killed, and was involved in her death. 
There were stories of violent rows and beatings that alleged it was Hitler who ordered her execution and killing. But what is certain is that Gailey Rabel's life was prematurely cut short inside of Hitler's apartment. Her relationship with Hitler made her miserable and she believed the controlling nature of his behaviour was torture and she could not even go to the shops without Hitler's consent. She lived under constant pressure from Hitler and his behaviour towards her was truly terrible. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.